Hello everybody, this is Ariane from La Fille de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalen Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today I am making my salt and kelp spa bar. It has been the most popular soap um, during my last Christmas fair last December and online since then. And I am almost out. I have less than a dozen in stock. Here's the soap in question. So it's a it's a soap that has activated charcoal on the top. The bottom part is um, with kale and clay and kelp from here that I pick my, myself in the summer that I dry and grind into a fine powder. There's also sea salt in there and salt water and it's a very exfoliating bar. It's not a uh, very uh, harsh exfoliating, it's more of a gentle exfoliating so it's really nice if you don't like the, the bars that are extra scratchy. This one is really nice. So I'm going to show you how it's made since it's been so popular, I thought you might like to know. Um, <clears throat> also a little update, uh, I get messages on Facebook, YouTube, uh, everywhere, <laughs> um, on the internet that I don't make enough videos and I'd like to clarify this point with you guys because um, the reason why I haven't made so much video since December is that I... I'm not only making soap, I am making a baby right now. I have a little baby bump growing in there and I've had the worst nausea. I've been so tired. I've been sleeping during the day and then when the kids are asleep at night and instead of going to my computer like I usually do at night and edit videos and stuff, well, I crashed into bed right after my little ones. So that's for that. Please, please stop writing me to make more videos. I will keep making them, but just maybe a little slower for the next couple months and until the baby is here and a little bigger. So don't worry, I will keep coming back, but just not as often for the next couple months. Anyways, so let's get then make this uh, salt and spa bar. I mean, yeah, salt and spa bar and kelp. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the additives that I'm adding in there. So, as I said, um, the top part is colored with activated charcoal. Here is my sea salt. It's been ground to a really fine fine powder. And here's my kelp that, I, as I said, is from the Magdalen Islands. And this here is a combination of essential oils. There's eucalyptus, mint, fir needle in there, and there's activated, I mean not activated, but there's kale and clay in there. That's why it's white. And here are my base oil. So this is a mix of olive, coconut, palm, shea butter, cocoa butter, and hemp seed oil. All good and yummy stuff for your skin. Let's make the soap. So here's my lye water. It's actually a mix of uh, seawater and distilled water. So there is salt in this. And here we go. Now I'm going to split this batch in three different parts because this soap is colored with three different tints. So the dominant is the white. And then the blue is just a light accent, and the black will top the soap. This soap is at, it's between light trace and just barely an emulsion, so it's very liquid. And I'm trying to keep it like that so I have time to work my swirl as long as possible. Now, okay, so the kelp, go here, all in here. for white coloring. Also half of my salt is going in here. I have 220 grams of salt so I'm just gonna eyeball it but check in the scale that I don't put too much. So there we go. And then blue nice blue. It's a combination of brilliant blue and teal mica uh, from Nurture Soap Supplies. I love their micas, they're so great. And then the activated charcoal goes here. bit of 
the salt here and here. There. Now, um, oops. As well, my essential oils I will add separately. So if anything has to accelerate on me, then I will have the time to keep working with my colors afterwards. Essential oils go in here. All right. So, for this color, I'm just trying to lightly pour my blue so that it doesn't sink in too much into the white soap. All right, so now is the time for the swirl. And I like this soap to have kind of a wave pattern, so I just take a large spoon with a big end and I just have it go right into the soap. And I've marked my mold to know where the middle of each row of soap will be once it's cut. Okay, and just to finish off, a little spoon and making little waves in there. And we will be back tomorrow to cut this beauty. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the process of making this uh, salt and kelp spa bar. There are about 10 to 12 uh, bars left online, and then these will be listed again in about four weeks. Um, okay, don't forget that we have a couple giveaways going on. We have the Instagram giveaway, the Facebook giveaway, and the Twitter giveaway. So to be subscribed to the giveaway, all you gotta do is to subscribe to one of these social media. Um, we will have the winner on Instagram at 500 subscribers. 
the Twitter giveaway when we have 1,000 subscribers and the Facebook giveaway when we have 5,000 uh, people who like the page. So um, make sure to go and uh, sh make sure that you're entered in all three giveaways. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.